It's full disclosure, we are talking Better Call Saul. I'm Dex, this is Shannon, and we are joined by Rodney Rush, Woo! Mr. Combo himself from Breaking Bad. Thank you horrifying for having me. Horrifying character. Yes. Horrifying yeah. character. What? Hey, I try. You I try. What do you, you mean should... horrifying? He sold. Tell tell what your character was about. Well, I guess it could be scary in a in a sense, but uh, well, I, I do play a, a meth dealer on TV. See? So, dude, you did a great job. Thank you. I appreciate you did. it. You you pulled it off. Would I scare you if you seen me out in yes. public? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you only if you had the mohawk. Like the big had. gulp was awesome. You're seen with the big gulp. Man, good job. You're seen with the kid. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Yeah, so okay. I showed Shannon the clip because, again, she's never watched Breaking Bad. <laughs> so I pulled up uh, the clip on YouTube and showed her your death scene I had Breaking to close Bad. my eyes. It surprised me. Was the kid's mom on set, first of all? I mean, he was killed I, off by I think his whole family was on set, to tell you the truth. Were they like, um, good job, you yeah. did awesome. Get that drug dealer. <laughs> um... It was a um, it was a long day. It was a long drawn out process. You know, we we uh we make sure we get everything correct. But you know what, you know, I didn't see myself out there as being some crazy drug dealer guy. So for me, it was kind of surprising to get shot by a kid. To tell you the truth, yeah. I I don't um, I don't every day get to die. We'll say that. You know, yeah. it was uh it was very interesting. Very interesting. Well, uh, explain uh, combo your character because you kind of hung out with Skinny Pete and Badger. And Jesse. Yeah, so um, Combo starts from, shoot, the beginning. I believe I was in episode four, Cancer Man, of the first season. And that just starts where it introduces us um, as his friends. I mean, we come in to um, hang out with him and kind of do some stuff. Yeah. Have a loving spoonful, yo. I believe it was <laughs> one of the lines, you know? It's interesting <laughs> how you got the part, because you started out as an extra on Breaking Bad. Yeah, well, um, it's a funny story, to tell you the truth. I, I get asked this a lot, but I had never acted previous to, to Breaking Bad. Um, you know, I showed up to a casting call one day expecting to, you know, get a background role, be extra, and they asked me to audition. I mean, they were looking specifically for my character, though. I love yeah. it. And you got to keep that cool piercing in? Yeah, or well, did they make it's a part of combo. Yeah, there so. you go. Yeah, awesome. You know. Yeah, man. So uh, a lot of people, a lot of fans probably want to know, are you going to be in any Better Call Saul episodes? Is there any, is there any uh, talk? I get that question a lot. You know, we'll, uh, I guess we'll just have to see. To man, it would be amazing to see you back. We, we would, would like, like to see, see you back. I, of course, would like to see you. Just okay. not on the street okay. with the Mohawk. Like, okay. I mean, that's clear. <laughs> um, I would love you to show Dex what you brought for him. Well. What you for me? What do you got? I was going to, you know, keep it as a surprise. But, you know, I always have to bring a little stuff. Uh, so what? Look we got a little love. Uh, meth candy. These are super wow. popular here Shannon. in Albuquerque. What? Look at Shannon going to town. <laughs> I went right for it. Well, it's fake, right? Go ahead, brother. Go Not ahead. Real. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. There you uh, go. You want some? Here you go. Everybody, you go, everybody can have some. Everybody gets some. everyone. Did you really just say that? Right I'm go. sorry. That's for later. I'm so, uh, did you get a chance to watch uh, uh, any episodes yet of Better Call Saul? What are your thoughts? Um, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I've seen, you know, the first couple. I've, I've been involved with a few events going on around town. Um, the the RV uh, tours that go around, I do a lot of stuff with them. And they had a, an event for the first showing. You know, I record everything. I get busy, too, just like anybody yeah, yeah. else. So, I have to go back and catch up on a little bit. But I definitely got to get a good start of what and a good feel of what the show was. So, yeah. Speaking of busy, you have this amazing charity. Yes. Do you want to tell us a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, that's what keeps that's what I mean keeps me busy. Takes up most of my time. Right now, I'm running for uh, Man of the Year for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and I'm going to be doing. I mean, we've already got a we're already a few days in, but I'm going to be doing a total of 70 days of fundraising to raise money to cure cancer. Wow. That's amazing, man. Good for you. You know, um, somebody's got to do it. And I really, really enjoy to give and to do things for people. And, you know, there's nothing better than to help out. Um, Did they nominate people. you on that because of Walter White's character with cancer? You know what? I never thought of that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Could be. See, I told you I've been been watching Breaking Bad. Yeah, could, <laughs> could be, could be. Um, I know, I mean, I was nominated. Uh, it was actually through a, a family friend. They have had this whole thing going on for you know a few years now. So they've done a yeah. few a few different um, 
um, I guess, run-throughs of the whole Man of the Year campaign. But, you know, what it is, is basically, is it's a lot of people coming together. This year, specifically, I think it's 16 people, and it's like a friendly competition. That's you know, very to, cool. To see who can raise more money. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, there's no better competition than trying to help out a good cause. Where yeah. do people find you? Uh, to find me, you can look on, um, you know, online. I do the social networks, of course, but I've really been focusing on my website, which is therealrodneyrush.com. Yeah. And if you go there, my landing page is directly a button to click to, to donate to yeah. Leukemia and Lymphoma. Cool. That's amazing. So we have, uh, we have a clip here we want to roll. It's okay. a huge Easter egg, and that's one really cool thing about Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is is the fact that they, you know, have these big old Easter eggs. And so in last night's episode, we saw Jimmy at the tailor and he's picking out his his uh, Saul salmon. Goodman. Yeah, salmon shirt. But this is this is the shirt that in uh, the outfit he's picking out for Breaking Bad, Saul Goodman and Breaking Bad, which we'll show a, a photo here. He's of, getting uh, fitted. Yeah, he's getting fitted. It's, it's so <laughs> cool. It's a giant Easter egg. Yeah, he's getting the tie. Okay. It's a beautiful shirt. I love that shirt. You do? Yeah, you should I totally wear it wear next that. week, dude. Yeah, make me look fat. Get though. out of black, you man. Know? Hey, bro, yeah. maybe I'm trying to get some nice stuff for the whole, uh, you know, <laughs> fundraising I'm doing. Maybe we'll go pick out a suit together. <laughs> there, there, there you go. We go. There's the picture right there. Oh, Breaking okay. Bad. Breaking that, Bad. That's Saul Goodman. Breaking Bad. So, I love that. I love those Easter eggs that we find in Better Call Saul. That's the look. That's a great. Your one. other Easter <laughs> egg now about Tuco. Tuco. That's interesting. Yeah, this is one thing. Uh, Tuco, he's got the, uh, um, in Breaking Bad, you'll see he's got the teardrop, which means he's killed somebody, so, somebody significant in his life. And in, in, in Better Call Saul, you don't see that. You know? so, so he cool. hasn't killed anybody sure. yet. That's so another cool. big Easter egg. So cool. What's up? Right. I didn't even think of that. There you go. Say, I know everything, bro. But you know a lot about prison tattoos. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> see these? I got these in prison. Uh, well, that'll do it for full disclosure. Rodney Rush. Hey. You guys look him up. At uh, we'll, we put him up on the screen and everything. Your website and Facebook, all Appreciate that. Appreciate it, uh, man. Doing man. some wonderful things. Man. We you hope to see too. Combo so much, and Better Call Saul. Come on, bro. Let's start hey. a campaign. Let's get you going. Right. Ooh. Let's do it. We're gonna start a campaign. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here, buddy. Thanks, brother. Coming up, we're going to lawyer up. You ready to lawyer up, Sharon? I am finally ready to lawyer up. All right. We're going to do that next.